Carlos Correa is like, that's your favorite. <laughs> That, that means two things. A, you know I'm a fan of you, and B, you've watched the show before. So that's a good thing. But, yeah, that is one of my – in 2015, you burst on the scene. That was one of my favorite swings because I don't know – you try so hard as a right-handed hitter. When I came up, my generation, it was sinker, slider. And to keep your hands inside a baseball like that screams to just ultimate trust in what you're doing – and keeping the front half tall. So we're going to get into that swing at some point because I want you to take me through it. But I want to know what you – I watched you work this spring training. I brought my little boy up, and I watched you. You were taking hard BP, and you were trying to hit rockets dead center with some pop and some elevation. Take me through you showing up to Minute Maid or on the road. What, what's your program like? How, how, how do you set the tone for the game? Are you a big video guy right out of the shoot to set a game plan up? Or are you going right to the cage and kind of getting loose? And yeah, absolutely. For me, I got to watch video. I got to have a feel for what the pitcher has been doing lately. Uh, I go in the video, uh, watch what the pitcher tries to do. Um, if he likes to come in, he likes to go away, what he does with two strikes and kind of things like that. And then I show up to the cage. I go to a cage. I like to hit off the tee. You know, I set the tee in the middle, get a couple of good swings. Are you buying into this? Long are you even concerning yourself with launch angle, anything like that? Or are you... Oh, well, I don't want to hit the ball in the ground, you know what I mean? Uh, okay. One, because, you know, you got to run hard to first and it's tiring. <laughs> uh, you want to hit the ball in the air because, you know, obviously you get a more chance to, to slug more and hit homers, hit doubles. That's what you want to do. Um, but, no, for me, it's more about swing playing. I want to be through a song for a long time, not about trying to lift the ball. So are you trying to – We wa I watched Chris Bryant talk about wanting – because when we were – what we were taught – and I'll get here – what we were taught is the move of, of ki trying to kind of drive the hands down here. And I feel like Chris Bryant, when I listen to him talk, it's uh, wanting to drop it in the zone. And I saw in the Blast Motion commercial you do, very similar you're, – you're, you're giving me that. Yeah, Is yeah. That what you're trying to accomplish? Yeah, I want to be through the zone here. So if I'm late, I still want to hit a, a line drive to right field. If I'm still early, I want to hit a line drive to left field. But it's all about the plane. You know what I mean? You want to be through the zone early in order for you to stay in there and be able to hit line drives all over the place. I don't want to hit ground balls, so I don't want to get too back here where I'm going to be popping out the baseball. But you hit rockets to dead right field like a left-handed pole hitter. Are you just telling yourself, I'm going to let the ball get super deep? In that yeah. situation, because I feel like sometimes, guys, when you think that way, the front shoulder can fly out and everything becomes pull side. Yeah, absolutely. For me, I'm natural going to right field. You know what I mean? It's just feel natural, natural going that, that way. Uh, when I was little, my, my dad would make me go the other way. If I hit it over here, I'll have to pick them up. So I'll hit it <laughs> the other way. Uh, he said that the guys that hit the other way will hit 300. You know, that was the way my dad taught me. So it was natural for me to go that way. And, you know, I feel comfortable going that way. And, you know, like we were talking about the pitches inside, you know, just trying to keep my hands tied to the body in order for me to drive the baseball. All right, bring it up. Bring, it, bring up that swing, Mark. Please, because this is ridiculous. That pitch, if you re-rack that, bring that back to and pause it when it gets to, to, to here, to point of contact. I just want to pause. Go back. A little bit more right there. I mean, that pitch is going to be, I don't know, six to eight inches off the plate. I mean, that's a ball. That's, jet, that's breaking 95% of guys' bats in the league. And you are able, as a young player, to not lose your toe hold, keep your upper half tall. I'm always amazed at that. Keep your upper half tall and let your hands play. What, what are you thinking of? You practice hitting that pitch? Yeah, absolutely. I like I like to work on the tee inside and you know uncomfortably inside. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I want to. I want my hands to go first on, on those balls inside, and then uh, my hips will follow. You know what I mean? But for the ball outside, I want my hips to follow, so then my hands can follow, and I have a drive to right field. You know what I mean, I can let my hands go and hit a homer to right field. I gotta use my lower body in order for me to drive the ball to right field. But when it's inside, you want to catch it out front. You want to be able to hit it in the air. First. Yeah, I like to start my hands first when it's inside. All right, roll it. What are you thinking right there when you lean back? Do you worry about keeping your upper body tall? Yeah, yeah, I, I want to stay tall. I don't want to get around the baseball going forward like this. I don't want to get around the baseball. I want to stay inside, so I try to stay a little tall. Look at the back. Are you saying I'm here to stay and uh, people are going to get up on me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Super quick. This is a joke. Yeah, that's For a young player things. to come up and do that, I mean, that's special. I mean, that's 1-1 that's one, one overall right there. Okay. 1-2. Pause this. So Severino, we chronicled him. He loves his slider with two strikes. I mean, predominantly he's going to it. 
He throws you a heater away right here, and you're able to flip it out to right field at Minute Maid in the ALCS. Are, are you just, was this emergency hack on a heater away? Were you sitting something else? Well, when, when you're facing a guy like Severino throwing 100, you got to be ready for the fastball okay. all the time. So I was ready for the fastball. I was trying to see it deep in order for, if he throws a slider, I don't want to chase it. So I was trying to see it as deep as possible, and you know, it was a way I was able to drive it. This is amazing. This ball's off the plate, too. 99 up. Did you know it was gone? I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. The kid helped me, so I made sure I signed a, a bat for him. <laughs> you signed a bat for him? Yeah, I signed a bat for him. I think it was a bat or a ball or something. I signed something for him. I was like, thank you. What was it like playing in, a, in the World Series last year, postseason? Man, it was crazy. It was crazy. It was so much fun. Uh, we, we, we tried to have as much fun as possible. I remember the meeting before we started, Beltran took over, and he's like, you guys, just, just have fun. You guys are young. Have the swagger out there. Have fun. Just Everything you do, just enjoy it. And, you know, that's what we did. We tried to enjoy every single moment. We had a lot of fun, man. Uh, it was seven games. Uh, almost had, like, five heart attacks right. during game five. Game and five was amazing. Game seven, game. man. But at the end of the day, it was so much fun. You're definitely enjoying it because we're going to roll two of your ABs in the postseason. This one right here, 0-1 against Josh Fields. If we can roll this. I mean, 4-3 Houston. He tries to throw you a curveball, and you absolutely destroy this thing. And not only destroy it, you talk about wanting a moment. What I love about this is, you know, the controversy of a bat flip, when to do it, when not to do it. When you're playing in the World Series and you have a moment like this, you have to turn to your boys and let them know. I mean, but, you, you never know if you're going to be in a World Series ever again. So for me, you're going to enjoy those type of moments. You know, regular season, you know, you hit a homer, you just... You know, run on the bases, celebrate with your teammates and stuff. But you never know if you're going to be able to win another championship. So, you know, we, we embrace that moment. <laughs> How about this at bat? 1-0, you all over a fastball from Brandon Morrow right here? Yeah, at that point, they've been, uh, it's game five, they've been throwing me in, up and in a lot. So I figure 1-0, he will try to come up and in, and I was ready to hit it. I remember being in Minute Maid Park game five. I mean, being in the trailer, and then look at how fired up you are. And then Guriel goes deep. I'm like, I got to go in. I'm missing history. I mean, when that game was over, what were you guys thinking on, on the flight out to L.A.? Oh, you know, we, we, we thought we have a chance to win this thing. We, we got to go out there and try to take game six. But uh, let me tell you a story. I remember game five, uh, we were losing 4 nothing. Clayton Kirch was on the mound. Yeah. Uh, you know, our starting pitcher is out, and then we get on the mound when the reliever is warming up, and we're like, Guys, it's just grind, you know. Kershaw's pitching, but we have a great team as well. You know, I mean, let's try to grind it out, see what happens. And then Altuve is like, hey, I think, I think we can take this game. And then Bregman is always positive. He's like, we're going to win this game. <laughs> let's go. And I'm like, okay, Kershaw's on the mound. You know what I mean? We got we to gotta, we gotta put great at bats together. And, and then we do. tie the game. And then we're like, we told you, we told you. And then they go ahead three, like three runs. And we're like, oh, my gosh. And then Altua hits the homer, and we're like, okay, okay, we're back on track. And then all the crazy stuff happened, and we end up winning the game. We sat down, and we just laugh and enjoy every single moment of it because it was the best game I've ever been what part of. Unbelievable World Series. All right, I know you're big MLB The Show guy. Love MLB The Show. You get a chance to uh, – let's dive into some of your teammates at bat. If you could change – if you could be one of your teammates for a game, who would you be? Would it be Springer? Would it be Alex Bregman? If I could be one of my teammates for a game, I would be Jose Gavin? Altuve. Would you really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That means getting three hits per day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think people realize how good Yuli Gurriel is. Oh, Yuli is unbelievable. He's a great hitter. He's played more games than any one of us in, in that clubhouse. And, you know, he's a great teammate as well. He works every single day uh, to try to get better. And his English is getting so much better, yeah. too. So, you know, everybody loves him in our clubhouse. What do you think about b Max stance? Oh, my gosh. B Pretty generic. Yeah, he's, he's awesome, man. One of the best teammates I've been part, uh, around.